Today we are going to learn about queen rearing, a delicate process that empowers beekeepers to nurture the next generation of queens. Join Glenn Stevens of Revival Queens. The good rule of thumb for when you can start raising queens is that when you have drone pupa with purple eyes, that would indicate the start of the graft. Supplementation plays a crucial role in stimulating development, providing essential nutrients that boost the growth of nurse bees and accelerate the process of queen cell production during the queen rearing process. I stimulate all of the hives that are going to be used for queen rearing. They always have a frame feeder with very light sugar syrup and they always have pollen patties. Basically every hive that you're using to make queens should be well fed. Inside the swarm box include frames of nurse bees, brood, a frame feeder with light syrup, and a frame of pollen, the perfect environment for queen cell development. Now you make your swarm box. It's this ventilated, sealed box. There's no foragers, no queen. Correct. You shake off your eight frames of nurse bees off of frames of brood. Yep. You have your frame feeder of light syrup in there. You put in the grafts that you made. I have generally one frame of pollen, frame feeder, pollen frame, and then there will be a graft frame. And then immediately beside the graft frame, I'll put another frame of something. It's often actually foundation. And I'm just using that so that the bees can easily get to the queen cells and easily insulate the queen cells against whatever breezes or the cold, if it happens to be cold. After 24 to 48 hours, the queen cells are taken out and placed in an incubator box for four to five days until they are fully matured. I'm gonna be placing them between four and five days. But it's very important to get them basically within 24 hours of capping there's a sensitive development period of those cells. During that sensitive period, it's important to not move the cell at all. For successful queen development, queen right finishers are used. These hives provide a continuous supply of young nurse bees to feed the queens with royal jelly. 